outside of the federal courthouse in Tacoma, there is hope and support. Hey, wonderful. How are you? <laughs> For members of the Chinook Indian Nation who say they deserve to be acknowledged as a federally recognized sovereign Indian nation, Tony Johnson is the chairman. I mean, it's just really unbearable to be put in this situation of having to put your hand out all the time for something that's our inheritance. In order to be recognized as a tribe, members of Congress or the president would have to sign off on it. It was supposed to happen in 2001, but George W. Bush never put the ink to paper. The bottom line is we shouldn't even have to be here. A lawsuit makes us sick. Getting recognized as a tribe is crucial to helping members thrive. Annette Bryant, a supporter from the Puyallup tribe, spells out why. They have access to what the government promised them in their treaties. That is access to education, access to their natural resources, access to housing, and access to food and the things that they need, health care for their people. And without that federal recognition, they don't have access to programs that the government, when they opened up a treaty negotiation with the Chinook people, when they took the land that they took from the Chinook people, promise to the Chinook people. If I want to feed my own family from my own river in my front yard, I risk going to jail. I mean, it's not something we're allowed to do. Fishing is not really what drives us, but these rights, our inherited rights, need to be respected. Today, a judge in federal court said he needed a few more weeks to consider the case. He could either dismiss it entirely or allow parts of the case to continue. And I get really tired of watching politicians slam their hands on a table and say all this stuff about social justice or injustice in the world when it's their own constituents. They need to look down to us at the mouth of the Columbia River. They need to do right by us. In Tacoma, Jenna Hanchard, King 5 News.